Hello, I am Hitoshi Kokumai, an advocate of identity assurance by our own volition and memory. It's easy to teach. You should never use the same password on multiple accounts, but it's not easy to get it done, not because we are silly or lazy, but because we are built as such. Humans are not born with the ability to remember more than several complicated text passwords. We have not been evolved that way. We can by no means live without the likes of passwords. Secret credentials are absolutely necessary for digital identity in democratic societies. The text password which is a section of the secret credentials, is known to be too hard to manage. We could and should look for something other than the text passwords as the valid secret credential. Our proposition is expanding the password system to include non-text objects in addition to text, especially the images associated with our autobiographic memory. Please have a look at this three-minute video. Easy to remember is one thing, hard to forget is another. The observation that images are easy to remember has been known for many decades. It's not our thing. What we discuss is that images our emotion-colored episodic memory is hard to forget to the extent that it is panic-proof. Images of toys, dolls, dogs, and cats, for example, 
that our children used to love for years would jump into our eye even when we are placed in heavy pressure and caught in severe panic. What would it look like on a smartphone? Watch this demo video. It takes less than two minutes. So-called Pictorial password systems have been a disappointment. It shares the same drawbacks with texture passwords. We have overcome its major drawbacks by making use of episodic image memory. We don't have to struggle to remember those pictures, which have been part of my autobiographic memory. I could not fail to recognize those four pictures even in panic, and yet nobody else knows them. A flower of morning glory reminds me of Sachiko, who used to live in my neighborhood and loved to play the piano, moved to London when I lived there. Now I can read the decrypted secrets of mine. The PIN for my account at Midho Bank is 3A26. This is one of the applications of episodic memory. The pictures for user authentication can be taken from the iPhone's photo album. Picking up the flower of Morning Glory, adjust the size, enter, and the Morning Glory is now shown, ready for registration. It is this easy to take all the pictures of episodic memory into the photo album of iPhone. We launched the business operations in 2001 under the name of Mnemonic Security, which was the world's first company to provide a software product that offer hard to forget, hard to break, and panic-proof digital identity authentication. Let me talk about what kind of people adopted the expanded password system. We call it EPS. For what reasons? A telecom company who built a payment system in 2004, designed for a million online shoppers, adopted EPS for accepting hard to forget and yet hard to break credentials and for reducing the help desk cost drastically. Actually, 140,000 online shoppers enjoyed the no friction login before the payment system was closed in 2008. An IT corporation who built a security conscious corporate network adopted EPS based two channel, two factor authentication accepting the hard to break and yet the hard to forget the credentials. 1,200 employees are still enjoying the good balance of security and the usability. Japan's self-defense ground force adopted our product for accepting panic proof and yet the hard to break credentials. The number of licenses has increased more than tenfold over the seven-year period from 2013 and is set to increase further. Now we are launching the global operation. We have recently set up Mnemonic Identity Solutions Limited with a mission of globally promoting identity assurance by our own volition and memory for secure digital identity in post-pandemic cyberspace. We expect to see similar adoptions in hundreds or thousands of times a larger scale once we start the operation in the global market from the headquarters in UK. The aim of our enterprise is to make EP solutions readily available to all the global citizens, rich and poor, young and old, healthy and disabled, literate and illiterate, in peace and in disaster. We expect EPS to stay with us over many generations, rather than a decade or so, until humans discover something other than the digital identity for our safe and orderly societal life. We look for the people who share such a long-term view and support us as such. Thank you very much indeed for your time.